Hey, I'll say y'all. Peace and power, Santa 6. It's your girl, the Valley Lika, and welcome to the channel. To all of my returning viewers, hey, soul cousins, hey, soul family, so glad, so happy, so thankful, so blessed, so elated to have you back. To the new subscribers, even though I don't know what's going on, y'all. I don't know if I got shadow banned or what, but my subscribers will not... It, no, I ain't even. I don't even want to speak it. You know, words are spelled, so I ain't gonna speak on it. But I'm, I'm getting a shadow ban vibe, and I don't know what's going on. But it's like the views. I feel like I'm getting the views, but I just don't know why the subs ain't coming in. Like, you know, I didn't really do this for subscribers in the first place. Like that's, that's not what led me to do readings on YouTube at all. Um, I just felt like. Um, in order for me to stand in my purpose, it made more sense for me to use a platform where I could get my message across, get the message across to more people than versus just giving, doing personal readings for the people in my city, like, you know, that I know. Um, so that's really whatever even led me to YouTube in the first place. So I really try not to even pay any attention to like the subs or the views, but you know, everybody wants to progress, you know, like to, to. Nobody just wants to stay stuck in one place. I, I'm, I'm really, like, even in my personal life, I'm a real, stagnancy drives me crazy. <laughs> like, I don't, I can't, like, I have to see some type of forward movement for me to be comfortable in my skin, okay? <laughs> like, that's just, that's just me. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't really know what's going on, but I know I'm gonna keep showing up, and that's just that on that. It's like you got to take the bad with the good that's what i say it's like what goes up must come down as above so below the whole nine it's just you know this is what it is so i'm not stressing it but anywho i hope y'all ready for a message because i'm ready to give it <laughs> i'm ready to give it to so all the likes the comments and the subscribes the likes and the comments <laughs> Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so much. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It really, really does. It really does. Shout out to my girl, Queen of Swords. <laughs> That's my girl. And there's one other person, too, I want to give a little shout out to. Because I, I, she, her comment meant so much to me. And I don't even think she realizes it. But she said, please never stop doing readings. And I was just like, I promise I won't. <laughs> I'm telling you, it really meant a lot to me. The person who left the comment, they know who they are. But I know, hell no, I gotta give you your recognition. Hold that girl. Hold up, girl. Hold on. I'm gonna have to stop the music for a second so I can find my girl real quick. Where she at? Where she at? Okay, got it, got it, got it. I said I knew it was curl something. Something with curl in it. Shout out to my girl Dior Dior's Curls. Dior Curls. Shout out to her too. <laughs> her comment meant a lot to me. She won't she won't even know. <laughs> she won't even know. And give her recognition and then you know just shout out to queen of swords because she's just always positive and i don't even know how i don't think she knows how much i appreciate her energy it really means a lot to me <laughs> to be able to meet other beautiful souls it's just like huh it's just it's just refreshing it really is refreshing i'm telling you yeah what the fuck is it gonna wiggle every time i do something i'm gonna just sing a little uh, whatever um divine spirit gods angels ancestors cosmic family of the brightest love light healing prosperity and protection please give me clear and accurate messages for the divine collective clear and accurate messages for the divine collective what is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time what is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time please just block out any interferences as i get these messages across and protect my space any dark magic, evil eye being sent my way or to the way of the divine collective, I ask that you return it back to sender and bind it to them. Any dark magic or evil eye, illusion spells, confusion spells, freezer spells being sent to me on my platform. I ask that you return that back to sender, magnified and bind it to them. 
Somebody think they slick. I know somebody fucking playing around with my, trying to play around with my energy and my channel. It's so crazy, y'all, because I was getting like this real weird vibe when I was doing my readings. And I'm like, somebody that does not care for me is watching me. I felt it in my spirit. I felt it in my spirit before she actually got bold enough to leave a comment. And I'm like, girl, why is you over here? <laughs> why are you over here? Why are you here? You know, and, and, and I, I try not to, I, I'm, I'm getting to a point in my spiritual journey where I don't like to talk specifically to the person and very much so talking to the spirit that's in them. Whatever spirit of jealousy, envy, hate, ugh, whatever energy that is, I talk to the spirit. I try to talk to the spirit and not the person. You know, because deep down inside, I want to hope everybody's intentions is pure. But I do understand that, you know, depending on your vibration, you know, sometimes certain spirits and energies can latch themselves onto you. And, you know, if you're not doing that shadow work to try to get rid of that, recall your power back and things of that nature, it'll run rampant in your life. And that's really what's going on with a lot of people. I'm witnessing it. You know, I'm shit. I'm ch I channel it every time you turn around when I'm getting into the energy. So, you know, I just send people love, light, healing. That's all I can do. <laughs> Love, light, healing. But if it comes to you sending any type of negative, nasty, stagnant, you know, mirror, ma whatever, dark magic, black magic to me. Oh, I'm returning that shit back to you ten times full. My spirit guys really don't play. <laughs> they really don't. They really don't. They really don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Protect my crown chakras. I get these messages across. And protect and open up my third eye chakra so that I can dive deeper into my intuition to get further clarification of the cards that come out today. Protect and open up my third chakra so I can accurately interpret the messages that come out today. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ashe. Ashe. And Ashe. The little hiccups. Let's see. What is it that the collective, the divine collective, needs to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Y'all use the little old school deck today. Well, I consider it an old school deck because it's one of my first set, it's one of my first decks. One of my earlier love decks. Uh whew. so the first card that I just got out, it says cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Not gonna lie, y'all. This is giving me the energy of um, a me the message that I channeled the day before yesterday, where I was getting like, you know, a lot of you have done the work to physically release your past person. However, energetically, you may still be holding on. Um, for some of you, and it's like it's so weird because I actually ended up getting more downloads about that reading later, like after I did it, after I stopped recording. And um, what I was getting is. There's somebody that's still, you're still checking your ex's social media. Um, you're still fixated on how they did you wrong, on you know, or how wrong they did you. Probably a plan, you know, I can't believe she, he, she's such and such. She turned around and messed with, my, messed with my homie or whatever it may be. Like somebody is replaying these events over and over again in their head. And I also heard this, as much as I don't, you know, no, I'm going to push the message because I, I give the messages that spirit told me to give. For some of you that are like, you know, you are trying to close out the still trying to close out that cycle, at least on the energetic level, I would stay away from readings that, um, you know, are speaking a lot on your past person. You know, as much as we want to get those confirmations that they're receiving, the, I'm going to be honest, y'all, they're getting the karma that they that they're that that they that they're owed. Absolutely. They are. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with from time to time. You know, checking in a reading, you know, you know, watching readings. But if you are religiously watching, um, you know, readings that are tied to your ex, you can tell about it. A lot of times you can tell about a title where the reading is going or what it's going to speak about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, 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 Spirit wants you to fall back from that a little bit. Okay. Just to help you with, you know, closing out this cycle. This is definitely the, this is the perfect energy to do it in. Like, like 
the planet, like the planetary universal energy is very much so working in your favor when it comes to closing out cycles, outdated, <laughs> outdated ways of thinking, you know, this is the perfect energy to, you know, to take the initiative to do that, you know. I'm, I just heard sign still delivered. You know what I'm saying? To just finally, you know, completely close that out. So, yeah, somebody is replaying events over and over again in their head. And you're also not even, for somebody, it, it actually may be delaying your healing. Because, you know, one thing I, I've, I've under, I understand is that the body doesn't really know a di the difference between, like, a past trauma and a present one, right? So if my mind takes me to, and, and and I know I've been here before, where I can get to talking about something, maybe from my childhood or my past, and you can literally start to feel yourself get worked up, start to feel it in your chest, you start to feel it in your gut. Your body don't know that you're just thinking about something in the past. Your body thinks this is a present event, a present, situ a present situation, a present trauma. So it's almost like you're making yourself relive the hurt and the pain and the agony over and over and over and over and over again, like a cassette tape. Okay. So this is very much so the energy of learning how to, to, to release this person really for you, you know, for you and your own healing. Yeah. Okay. So this just flipped over. It says separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So this is probably coming from your past person. Or flip and switch the roles they apply to your situation because I be I could be talking about you or someone who's in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. So just use your discernment and do not force anything to fit. Understand that all of my readings are also timeless. So this can apply to past, present, or future. But somebody's missing somebody. And, you know, the outdated thinking and the, you know, replaying events over and over again in her head, this could be the past, your past person as well. This may not be your energy at all. So, like I say, flip, you know, just flip and switch the roles. Flip and switch the roles. <laughs> yeah. And this separation may have had a lot to do with a third party interference. I have, you know, seduction here. Seduction, uh, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. So this could actually would be what it, what led to the separation. And for a lot of you, this is what your past person is trying to do to get back in your energy. Trying to seduce you to get back into your energy. Ooh. And then, so that it's like two different stories I'm getting. Your past person can be, you know, trying to, you know, trying to use some form of seduction. Um, you know, the other day I was just channeling some type of sex magic. Like they're pulling at you pulling at your sacral your sacral chakra um i was getting that the other day but what i'm also getting too is yes there was a third party interference from somebody um that that actually led to the separation between you and your past person but whoever this person is that seduced your person or however the hell this happened <laughs> you know your your person could you know have some type of there's this 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 jezebel lust spirit I, I'm, I'm getting like this the energy i get a lot of times is like this sex sex addiction lust spirit like somebody who's just driven by lust i i, I feel like i feel that energy a lot um when i get the channel into past person it's like narcissistic and like sex addicty type of energy i get but whoever it is that you know um your person got whoever this third party was is somebody who actually is a reflection of your person is a reflection of your past person mm -hmm. tell me more spirit tell me more what else is this here hold on y'all give me two seconds two 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 seconds two 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 okay so yeah i'm getting very much so this person attracted somebody who's a reflection of them Tell me more spirit. Tell me more spirit. Ooh, not me not pulling my... I didn't do no moon water today, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like something was off. Tell me more spirit about this energy. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. 
we got the snake it says competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman yeah little, little whore little Carmika or Carmichael I don't fucking know anyway says not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry yeah so your past person can be trying to get back in your energy you know they can feel you're energetically trying to close out this chapter or this cycle with them and they want to get back in your energy and you're just cool like <laughs> it, y'all it doesn't matter what deck that i channel from this is always the energy <laughs> I'm, you're cool like you're just cool off of it you know at least physically my the only my only concern is it just might be the energetic part you know that you're struggling with and some of us don't even understand that we're giving that we're actually allowing our past person back on our energy by doing stuff like oh we're checking the page we're we're checking the page just to see if they still suffer and if they still say it or we're we're we're, we're watching readings that that kind of that you know that kind of confirms what they got going on that is giving them access to our energy you know what i'm saying Mm hmm tell me more spirit yeah not today y'all just got cool what the hell and you know maybe some of you have contemplated getting back with your your past person but right now it's just it's just not the time and quite frankly for a lot of y'all the ones of y'all who are, who really are contemplating you know getting back with your past person if they come back in new energy all i have to say is this what you're doing right now as far as remaining separate from this person is the best thing for you to do because i like the energy always comes up there is bad karma that your past person has to pay back and you do not want to be in their energy while that's going on because you're going to stagnate your own growth and your own blessings allow them to reap what it is or shit who knows depending on what type of covering you got you may shield them for some of their their their, their karma or, or whatever it is they're supposed to receive but they need to receive it that's actually what's going to lead to their lesson their spiritual awakening allow that to happen at least ideally that's what that's what's going to come out of it but yeah allow this to happen you know do not force it to fit you know don't force do not force the connection to be together when it's really just not the right time i do believe in wrong right person wrong time i do in certain situations very few situations but i do believe in it <laughs> tell me more spirit tell me more about the situation it says soulmate soul connection partnership agreement soul contract so this could have been a soulmate for some of you Rather this be, but it doesn't have to necessarily be like soulmate, like good soulmate. It can be karmic soulmate. Um, quite frankly, uh, the the energy that I like that I've been channeling for a while, and I'm not saying it's everybody's situation, but some people's. This person, the 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 person that your person tied themselves to, is a karmic soulmate. They have a soul contract with this person that will ultimately let lead them to getting stabbed in the back. Maybe this, maybe your past person was under the impression that whoever karmika is or carmichael is was their soulmate and it ultimately led them to getting stabbed in the back which is you know you know ain't nothing but fair at the end of the day because they definitely stabbed you in the back for certain for certain stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack some of you didn't even see it coming no you know what your past person ain't gonna see this coming Carmichael or Carmika is going to really rattle they is going to really shake some shit up. But ultimately that's their karma. <laughs> I'm going to pull one more and I'm going to move on to a different deck. Tell me more spirit. What else spirit? What else is going on here that you need the collective to know? in the back like first mirror was just on the back of the deck when i first acknowledged mirror it was just on the back of the deck now it actually flew out so mirror this is the confirmation that your person ends up actually attracting somebody who is a, that's why i say for some of you that actually want to get back with your person don't you do it right now they got a contract with this karmic whoever this karmic is is a reflection of them they need to be with somebody that's a reflection of themselves for them to awaken to the to, to their patterns and their behavior Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I ain't supposed to be smiling about it, but I mean, shit. You read what you sow. Like, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? And for some of y'all, it's like you just wanted this person so bad. And a lot of times, I don't know, I feel like when I channel messages, I like, you know, I I do want it to be new energy, but a lot of times I feel like it's like a to be continued of an of the past the past reading. And quite frankly, I just feel like you tried to tell this person about this person already. You tried to you that, that's what came out in the last reading. You tried to warn you tried to warn this person about this uh karmic. You did. <laughs> You did. And now look at him. Mm -hmm. That's why so many people, like, that's, that, that's where the regret is coming in. Like, so strong for a lot of people. Because it's like, I try to tell you about this shit. And you ain't want to listen. Or maybe you, maybe you didn't want to hear me out because you think that what I was saying is coming from a place of jealousy since this was the third party or the other woman or the other man. You think that I'm just hating. I'm really just trying to tell you what it is. And now you're seeing it for yourself. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Okay, let's see what else is going on in this, this true emotional deck. I'm not going to probably stay on a true emotional deck too long. Um, let's just see what's going on. <laughs> it already came out. Karmic lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Your past person is learning a karmic lesson. Absolutely. Them meeting this person. They were supposed to meet this person. Whoever this karmic soulmate is, they were supposed to meet this person to learn a karmic lesson. Real shit. Like, mm -hmm. But you're happily single. Happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. Very much so. Goodbye. Next. And honestly, for some of you, this could be your past person saying goodbye to the karmic. But, you know, I just think a lot of people, like, a lot of people were in divine connections. And they, they took the bait. They took the bait. They let the devil trick them right out of the, right out of a good union. Right out of a divine union. And got themselves tied to a fucking, to karmics. I think a lot of I feel like a lot of divine counterparts fell from grace. I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of uh rewriting of contracts happening. Like your twin they don't look like your twin's gonna be ready in this lifetime or no time soon. So let's start moving some shit around, writing some, you know, putting expiration dates on contracts and moving them on and putting new contracts in place. I'm telling you, man. I know for a fact that's what happened with me if if I was even with a twin. Like, I just know, you know, you gotta, we gotta look at it like this, right? Especially for some of you who are so sure you were with your twin flame. And it's just like your twin is just not, it just seemed like your twin ain't getting it together. They keep repeating karmic cycles over and over and over again. They get themselves in new contracts. It is possible for two contracts to be going on at the same time. <laughs> um, you know, starting new contracts with, with karmic partners and things of that nature. You know, I look at it like this. If, okay, you know, if I met my twin, but my twin is not ready to awaken in this lifetime or, or not or, or not anywhere close to my time, to, to my time frame, does that mean I have to suffer and be alone? Because at the end of the day, this is spiritual warfare and I was meant to fight it with another person, with, with a divine counterpart. So do I just go without fighting with a divine counterpart because my person can't get there, can't get in, can't get into divine energy, isn't willing to do the, the, the work or anything of that nature? No, that's not fair to me. I know that the universe know that my spirit guides know that. So what do you think they're going to do? Let you just sit in it? No, they're going to start writing shit up, drawing, <laughs> drawing up some new contracts. I mean, I'm just saying. Closing this cycle. Exactly what I said. 
And this could be your past person who's actually closing a cycle, you know, with this, because that this is falling. The closing the cycle card is falling right under the uh, the the dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So this could be your past person closing out a cycle, or this is just you closing out a cycle that consisted a lot of you having to be in competition with another part with a third party. Yeah, you're happily single. You're closing a cycle. You don't want to deal with this anymore because you know you you know you deserve more than this. You know you know you deserve better. Tell me more, spirit. Should be crazy. Backstab. That shit came out twice. <laughs> yeah, you're closing the cycle. You're tired of being in pain. For some of you, you there, there was a period in time where you're saying, it hurt like fuck trying to love him. It hurt like fuck trying to love her. This shit hurt. Love shouldn't hurt like this. And honestly, it should not. I don't like these things where people just be pushing like, oh, you know, you know, good relationships are built and da 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 da. That's the perfect. That's that. That sounds just like a narcissist trying to push some shit on somebody. Oh, you don't love me if you're not willing to struggle with me. If you're not willing to 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 love me through my through my through my flaws. No, not if your flaws are fucking hurting me. None of your flaws. Not not none of your flaws are costing me my peace of mind and my sanity. Absolutely not. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a ride or die. Nope. <laughs> Don't look over here. I'm not a ride or die. Get somebody else to do it. Heavy on the get somebody else to do it. Ride or die? Who the hell came up with that? I want to live. <laughs> I choose life. <laughs> I choose a happy and healthy one too. Y'all got me. <laughs> Don't nobody push ride or die push ride or die or try to glorify somebody's ride or die more than a person who know they putting up with somebody's shit put the, 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 the letting the motherfucker stress them out or a person the person who actually is doing the, doing all the stressing stressing their partner out that'd be the first person to push ride or die get the fuck out of here he said uh-uh i'm moving on letting go loving me <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm running away. <laughs> what you say? I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> Said love ain't supposed to hurt like this. <laughs> if this was my soulmate, I'm rejecting the offer. This is just, y'all, it's one after the another. It's one after the next. I'm not flipping. They just in order. <laughs> they just coming out. <laughs> what you say, collective? Not today. Oh, wow. And mirroring falls right up under mirror. Because I'm doing eight and eight. So the eight, you know, I'm just, I just match the cards up as they come out. Yeah. For you, if this was a soulmate, the running card falls right up under the soulmate. So you're running away. If this was a contract with a soulmate, you don't want it anymore. <laughs> you don't want it. And then the not today card, not today, um, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundary still angry what fell right up under that is moving on letting go loving you you're done backstab and then backstab fell right up under the snake card competition envy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman you're tired of this shit you're tired of this shit and collective i'm telling you if you're sitting here and you're fixating on how this person did you stop it this was a lesson learned that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Easier said than done. Because I know shit. I know it hurt it. <laughs> I know it hurt it. Fuck them. <laughs> to my divine masculines, if you had a little nasty ass Karmika who dogged you out, fuck her. I said what I said. But... You know, send them love and light and healing. You know. <laughs> you know, I'm a Gemini, so I live in duality, okay? It's love and light, but there's another side that's very much so. Do not, don't play with me. Don't play with me, okay? Okay. Yeah, this person is with a, this person, see, you know what? Sometimes we got to come to a point in our maturity and our healing where we have to be real with ourselves and be like, you know what? She's actually better for him than I am. She's a much better fit for him than I could ever be. 
Why? Because she's a reflection of his of 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 his demons and his whatever else the hell he got going on with him. Or she's a reflection, she is a reflection of him. Well, he's a reflection of her. You know? Flip and switch the roles. Mm. All I'm saying is we get the confirmations every time. Yeah, this person's ashamed. This person's ashamed. Mm. Ashamed that they allowed their sex, their their their, their, their sexual their sexual addiction addictions to end to, to land them in this situation. They tied they're tied to this person. There's a whole new contract that that, that didn't got started out of this situation. It's a shame. Probably got seduced by a Jezebel spirit. And they were e they were easy target to be seduced by a Jezebel spirits because they already had some type of sex, some type of sexual addiction, sexual demon, sexual spirit latched on or tied to them. Mm. I said I wasn't going to spend too much time on this card and I didn't. What's this? I think I only did 10 minutes. That's not that bad. Let's move on. Because, you know, after we get into the nasty energy, I always like to give you some love and light, some insight, some advice from our spirit guides universe all that good stuff so let's um let's move around this is um this deck i want to channel from i really don't get to use it often or i haven't used it often it's the power of love so um let's just see what comes out i'm curious i think i only want to pull two of the cards though i don't want to pull too many or whatever it is spirit wants to give me because i don't go against them but let's see Divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. Clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. What is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time? I really wish this table would stop jiggling. It's a little wiggly. A little wiggly woo. What is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time? What advice do you want them to take from this reading? And or just advice in general that you want them to take based off of where they are in their journey. This person, um, they put y'all through a lot. And I'm so sorry you had to go through that, but... Like I say, um, in some readings, a few readings ago, it's like, you know, you can choose. We all have a choice as to um, we all have a choice as to what part we're going to play and, um, you know, a heartache or whatever any type of trauma or situation we all have a choice you can either use this 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 situation to empower you or you can use it to take your power you know it's really up to you so and and, and really the, the 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 line between these two you know rather you're letting it empower you or you're going to let it um and you know disempower you disempower check me I'm pretty sure there's somebody that wants to check me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, um, um, you know, you can either choose to look at this from a, a victim state of mind. Like, what was me? Oh, my God, I got treated so wrong. I got this so wrong. Ain't none of us above this. Ain't nobody above a heartbreak. Ain't nobody above getting cheated on. It's just, I hate to say it come with the human experience, but it just do. I mean, it just does. So... You can either, you know, leave the situation from a victim standpoint. Oh, my God. Why would they do me like this? I can't believe I got done like this. Or you can look at it as take it as a learning lesson and use it to empower you. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to definitely turn my limits into lemonade. I'm going to always be better where, where I was left in a situation. Every time. Every time. Because I'm going to take the time to find a lesson take the time to find a lesson and some of us don't even know how you know 
I know for me, I'm going to just use myself as an example. I'm not going to put this, push this on anybody, but I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't think if, I don't think if I was love wrong that I would know what being love right is and should be. I don't think, you know, my last relationship was by far one of the hardest relationships on me, but I needed it. I needed it. I can't say before I met that person that I knew what I wanted in a partner. I didn't. I genuinely did not. I didn't know what I wanted. I know how I didn't want to be treated necessarily. But I didn't really know what I wanted. I'm a lot, I'm a lot more sure now. I learned a lot. I learned a lot, a great deal. Let's see. Integrity says you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Uh, there's a textbook definition of that, so we're actually going to get very a, a lot deeper into this card. Yeah, this shit was going against your fucking integrity, like the to to even stay in the situation. It says past. Oh my gosh. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Let me tell you something. Thank you, spirit. The way they show up in the reading, man. I'm just, I'm just grateful, thankful. The way they show up in the reading, it's just like... You know, when I do readings, it's so much deeper than just channeling energy. It's the fact that, okay, boom, we're on this topic, right? Of, you know, you closing out this, the closing out cycles and, you know, not replaying certain events and over and over again in your head. And then I just let these cards come out. I'm not flipping them. It just, it's the, it, it's such a heartwarming feeling because it really shows us that we not alone. I don't see the energies that are helping me right now, but I know they're here and they're present. And they confirm it. That shit make me want to cry sometimes, man. It's powerful. It's, it's profound. It just, it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm so, I'm so fucking thankful. Like, they do not leave us hanging in the darkest of hours. Do you understand? That shit makes me, that shit is making me, like, emotional. Like, that is just beautiful. It's so beautiful, you know? All right. They say it's an emotional time, right? <laughs> Walking into this eclipse energy. We'll end this eclipse energy. They is just here for us, man. They do not leave us behind. Man. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. I was supposed to only pull four, three, I mean two, and here I am on the third one. So that means I got to pull a fourth. One more spirit. Just give me one more card. One more card. Thank you so much for the messages that you've given us this far. This shit's beautiful, man. evolution that's it that's all that's it that's all this ain't nothing <laughs> y'all y'all don't even understand that this is all a part of a greater plan you just don't see it yet the way you're about to evolve and transform your life i keep telling y'all y'all alchemist and this is where a lot of the where when like I'm doing this channeling and I'm seeing like this this nasty energy being sent your way, some people just cannot believe how you turned your heartache into to what you turned it into. Some of them was like, how 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 can she even smile? She ain't hurt. No, bitch, I'm not. <laughs> I was. <laughs> but what the hell am I supposed to do? Sit there and sulk in my misery? For some of y'all, you know what I was just saying uh, earlier, like earlier ago, where you have the decision as to. You know, if you're going to let a, a situation empower you or take your power away, it's really all up to you. Y'all already on this time. I ain't telling y'all nothing y'all don't know because this is what you've done. 
She think I'm about to sit around and sulk? This shit hurt, but what the hell am I supposed to do about it? You accepted it for what it, for what it is. And that's why for some of you, it doesn't matter if your person comes back in the right energy because you've already, you've already taken the lesson from the situation. So it's just like, what purpose does it serve? I've learned so much. Anyway, but let's get it. That's for some of you. That's not everybody. Some people are still holding space for their past person. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, just don't deal with them before they're in the right energy and before they're done paying their karmic debts. Because all a lot of them, they are in a karmic cycle now. They are in a, They have started a karmic contract with somebody else. Period. My dad said something to me the other day that's so profound. My dad's very spiritual too. Very spiritual, like... I mean, he says some things that are so profound. I keep saying, like, Dad, get a pod. You need to start a podcast. But I'm going to paraphrase it as best as I can. I'm going to try to, you know, quote him. Oh, oh, wait. I just realized I'm recording. I can actually play it. I'm going to play it. How about I play it, okay? Let me play it. Let me pause the meet. Well, I'm going to have to pause it. Let me play this. Let me play this because I feel like if I play this, it's really just going to... I feel like... It really opened. It really opened up a, a perspective for me. But let me just let you you all hear this. It's so powerful. I love my dad, man. I do. He gets on my damn nerves sometimes, but I love this man. Like when they say you choose your parents before you get here, I definitely chose my dad. Pointing it right out him. I know it. It's just so we have so much in common. We're both Gemini's. Oh, girl, everybody want to call me at the at the wrong time. Okay, let's do this real quick. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all hear it. I'm gonna try to turn it up. So I'm saying that to say this here: some contracts you looked at, you didn't sign, and there's some contracts that you signed that you know that 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 that. You know, you got to go through the spirit realm in order, you know, to close out some of these contracts. But just know that every man that comes into your energy is somebody offering you a contract. Your job is to be able to read the fine print. This is metaphorical and physical. Your job is to read the fine print to make sure you're not slipping and you sign yourself into a felonious contract and be locked into some shit. Three to hold on, y'all. Let me hold it. Cause y'all gotta hear it. I'm sorry. It's too. It's too powerful. You gotta hear it. Contracts that you sign that you know that 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 you know you gotta go through the spirit realm in order you know to close out some of these contracts. But just know that every man that comes into your energy is somebody offering you a contract. Your job is to be able to read the fine print. This is metaphorical and physical. Your job is to read the fine print to make sure you're not slipping and you sign yourself into a felonious contract and be locked into some shit three to four years. When they say locked into some shit, that means that you have signed a spiritual and physical soul contract with the wrong person. And you could be done a year later, but you're going to go through three years worth of shit because that contract has to be closed out. And if you can't get the right help from the right entities to be able to destroy that contract, i.e., when people go picking and free the locks, free the locks, you know, free such and such from the label to get him over, you have to fight very, very hard to get out of a contract that you sign. Metaphorically and physically, it's the same. Is that not powerful, y'all? I hope y'all heard him. I hope y'all was able to hear him. But the reason why I felt like it was so relevant to this reading is because this is where this I genuinely believe this is where your past person is. They may they like the same way every man like my dad's giving me the advice of any man that is trying to 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 get the is trying to get themselves into my energy is a man that's offering me a contract and it's my job to be able to read the fine print to make sure I don't sign myself into a felonious contract. This is, this is, I feel like this is your past person. This is your past person. They didn't read the fine print. They were driven by lust. They were, they were seduced. They were driven by lust. And now there's, now they're, the, now they're tied to somebody that's a reflection of them. And yes, they may be ready to leave after a year, a year, two years later, but they still got to pay their karmic debts for getting themselves in a, in, for, for signing themselves into this contract. And for a lot of them, it may be even worse because not only did you sign yourself into a contract with a karmic, but you also 
You also jeopardize it, jeopardize and forfeited your divine contract for a karmic contract. You think you ain't going to get your ass handed to you for that? Spirit don't play. We are like, you know, here, what, 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 what I try to push the people is that, and it, it was like a weird ass download I got the other day where I was saying to myself, I'm like, just because the, the spirit realm isn't seen doesn't mean it's not relevant. Just because we can't see it don't mean it ain't relevant. Just the same way you can go to physical jail, there's spiritual jail, there's physical contracts, there's spiritual contracts. This shit is real. You, 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 uh, and, 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 and the 3D, if you forfeit a contract or something like that, you can get sued, you can get your ass sent to jail, whatever it may be. This happens in, in the spirit realm as well. That's why there's some people be like, damn, it's like they seem like they can't catch a they ain't catch they can't catch a break. Oh, trust me, they paying for something. That's why. And this is why I'm saying for some of y'all that are holding space for your past person, just understand that they are in a contract. That's it, that's all. Anyway, let's go to integrity. I really hope y'all were able to hear that message though. I'm like, ooh, my dad be saying some shit. <laughs> they be dropping some knowledge, y'all. Okay, uh, okay, hold up. Let's put the frequencies back on, though, because I don't like the silence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy, y'all, because I promise you, my energy was not the greatest today. It wasn't. And I got here, I connected with y'all, and I really feel good. I feel so good. <laughs> I feel so good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so it says integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. always got a word in here that i don't know what the hell it mean it says there is a great chasm never use it in my life there is a great chasm between believing in something and demonstrating it to the world walk your talk is the mantra of this card that brings this gap you can read every spiritual book available but if you don't practice what you what you've accepted in your heart then it's all then it's all for not yeah yeah if you don't practice what you've accepted in your heart, then it's all for not all for nothing is what I'm going to say because that's what it means. And I get that because it's like if you haven't accepted, if you're not practicing, okay, boom, you close out a cycle with somebody physically, but then I'm going to keep checking the page to see what they got going on. I'm going to still replay events as to how they, of, of how wrong they did me. If you ain't going back, why are we even replaying the events? You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm hearing after I read that. It says, holding love and compassion as the cornerstone of your belief system is very different from manifesting them in the real world. Integrity is a state of wholeness and completeness of being. When all the pieces of your psyche are unified as one, you don't have to try to, to be compassionate. You just are. A person with integrity follows through on their commitments. And if you tend to second guess yourself or are filled with conflict, opinions you might still be struggling to find your authentic self and that's okay life is about learning to be better oh no excuse me life is about learning to be a better you and if you aren't learning something new every day that's a wasted opportunity to know whether you are coming from an integrated space notice your behavior during a time of chaos if there is a gentle quiet of the mind and a clear path is seen then love is present when you come from the center you are in the moment not swayed by the past or the future you shine a beacon of self-assurance that draws all good things to you that's beautiful all right now we have the past oh past is right there nice 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 Okay, so it says, through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. It says the past is done and the future is yet to be. All you have is the now and the past is your greatest teacher. Yes, it's just so much to learn from the past. It says everything that has happened up until this moment is the product of, your, of the person you see in the mirror. That is why the power now of now is so important. 
It says, only in the present do you have the opportunity to create both your past and your future. Always be mindful of your present moment thoughts because in seconds, now will be your past, which you cannot get back. Yeah, a lot of you are bringing your past. I feel like what Spirit is saying is that a lot of you are bringing your past into your present because of fixating on past events. You're bringing it into your present and your present is actually going to be your present What's happening in the now is going to be a reflection of what your future looks like. So you're letting your past actually control your present and your future. You get what I'm saying? That's that's what this is saying. It says you don't want the past to steal your future. Yep. And the bridge between the two is the present. Begin to live in the present time and always remember that through loving, compassionate thoughts and actions, you're creating a past that you can be proud of and a bright fu future that awaits okay okay collective all right <laughs> i probably won't pull another deck after this because it's gonna take a little time we're already at a we'll be at an hour once i get done now we have expression and evolution <laughs> Oh, no, that's, that's, that's not the right one. Okay, cool. Oh, one after the next. Expression. Evolution is right after expression. Cool. It says, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Oh. Bet. I'm getting the whole thing. The reason why spirit really wants to call you out on fixating on the past is because they really do not want your want you to stagnate or prolong your evolution by keeping yourself in the past it's like they don't want you to jeopardize jeopardize your future or bring your past hurt into your future something like that but it says you have um you have come back to earth to share your individual wisdom and express your personal code which you have developed through lifetimes of experience oh it says you're ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. That's the thing. They don't want you to transform your thoughts. They don't want you to transform your thoughts. I mean, and, and basically your thoughts ain't nothing but energy and motion, right? Right? No? No. In your situation, it would be because whatever your thoughts, whatever thoughts are tied to the past are thoughts that are tied to hurt. And that is energy in motion. Yeah. Yeah, that's an emotion. Yeah, hurt is an emotion. So that's energy in motion. Whatever. Let me finish the message. God damn it. It says, you have come back to earth to share your individual wisdom and express your personal code, which you have developed through lifetimes of experiences. You have many methods of soul expression available, rather to be, rather it be with words, dress, art, or movement. Each form shows your character and reveals an important aspect of your being. When you express when you express your soul's true nature to the rest of the world, it is incumbent on you to lead by example. You must be true to your nature and never attempt to alter your self-expression to please someone else. If you act only to receive approval and acceptance from others, you demonstrate that you do not believe in yourself or respect your uniqueness. Don't succumb to peer pressure or the desire to fit in you choose to incarnate in this physical dimension and to follow a blueprint chosen by you it says let your soul's light illuminate your ideas and express them in tangible ways to get your message across believe in it present your point of view clearly and lovingly so that others understand you as you continue on your path, make sure to leave your distinctive mark and footprint to inspire and teach others. Beautiful. So some of you don't even understand actually expressing your hurt would be a beautiful way. Expressing your hurt, allowing your hurt, allowing what you have learned from these past experiences um, to teach somebody else something is actually, actually, it's actually a beautiful way to, um, I think it's a beautiful method to healing. You know? I don't know. Anyway, it says evolution. 
you realize that obstacles are nearly lessons on your path to love. Life in the physical dimension is all about your soul's evolution. And you now understand that the quickest way to evolve is to utilize the energy of love in all you do. Every day you are presented with opportunities to project your loving energy, tempered with understanding, tempered with understanding. Acknowledge each day that allows you to become aware of the world around you, offering you the chance to expand spirituality. Look upon each experience in person as something unique to learn from because that is what you signed up for. That's why you are here. Universe, university, y'all, I'm trying to tell you. It says, you spiritually evolve when knowledge gained through application of lessons and integration of truths resonates with your being. It can be difficult to grow without stepping outside of your comfort zone. This is where the virtues of faith and hope are tested and you embrace the conviction that everything works out for good. The power of love is the infinite truth. With this power, you are not influenced by judgment or bitterness. With it, all things are understood, accepted, and forgiven. When aligned with love, you are able to see common th threads running through everyone and everything. You become aware that all is part that all is a part of a greater whole. The mindfulness that truth is bigger than your ego as well as gratitude for every experience you have is an important aspect of your evolution. So honestly, learning how to apply this situation versus looking at the past events as, oh my God, I was hurt. Look at the past events as a learning lesson and you're going to really use it to evolve and transform your life in a beautiful way. You're an alchemist. You have the power to do it. You do. I, ch I channel it too much for, 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 for this collective. You're an alchemist. You can literally do whatever you want with this past energy and transform it into whatever you want, negative or positive, because that's what alchemists can do. Okay. But this has been your, um, your reading collective. I really do hope that it resonated. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to the channel. And it's also a beautiful way to help me better channel your energy for future readings. I love you all so, 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 so much.